Shantae Lowe is the story of determination, perseverance, and strength. Resilience is a muscle that has to be worked out each and every day. Today, she will share her stories of beating impossible odds time and time again. Olympic athletes are known for their dedication and their grit, but high jumper Shantae Lowe goes way beyond that. That's right. We've been following her story the last few years through some incredibly difficult moments, including surviving cancer. You fought cancer, you beat it. You fought COVID, you beat it. You have this fight now that's ingrained in you that so many people don't have. You have to be bold enough to acknowledge the accomplishments that you have made and rewrite your story as a success story. This is Shantae Lowe, four-time Olympian and the American record holder in the women's high jump. Lowe is a four-time Olympian, three-time world championship medalist, and 12-time U.S. national champion. It's like we watched the Olympics for Man. stories of inspiration, but Shantae's story she she has, already inspired us. She didn't yeah, have to go to the Olympics. Yeah, that's so. amazing. I am about to take the stage in the Doing the Impossible series here in Orlando, Florida. And I cannot wait to share all of the tactics and skills that I have acquired over 16 years as a professional athlete competing in four Olympic Games across three continents. Please welcome the incredible Shantae Lowe. Now, this is a fun group. You guys know how to party, huh? Uh-oh, wait, how are you guys doing today? We're gonna be talking to you guys all about boundless resilience and how to build it one step at a time. Now, one of the reasons why I was excited to be here today is because many people know me as the high jumper, you know, the one with the six pack abs. I know a couple of you guys Googled me. <laughs> My American record is six feet eight and three quarters inches. And I'm just gonna answer your burning question right now. Yes, I can jump over LeBron James's head. <laughs> There's only one way to guarantee that you will fail at something, and that is quitting before you reach the finish line. Whether you volunteered, purchased a ticket, or were voluntold that you get to be here, you decided to come and be a part of doing the impossible. In 2018, I found an itsy bitsy right size lump. That lump turned out to be breast cancer. It was the most difficult situation of my life. I had to have a double mastectomy and chemotherapy. But one thing that you notice in this picture, I have a smile on my face. And the muscles that I developed for resilience in that time period allowed me to fight for my life. When you go through the most difficult times of your life, you realize that you are strong because you are practicing that resilience day in and day out. Each and every one of us in here has a story. We have been through trials and tribulation. No one is exempt. And that strength that you have from those stories are the things that will push you through when difficult things happen. And I am just like all of you. <laughs> yes, yes, let me hear it, yes, yes, yes. And so the inspiration, I got like two pages of notes from her. Biggest takeaway, you don't quit. Her message, it just really hit me here at home, so I have a lot of respect for her and I want to just thank her a lot for, for being here with us today. I'm just blown away. Everything she said, blown away. So it was amazing. I appreciated her time, for sure. I have a lot of respect for her and I want to just thank her a lot for, for being here with us today. And when she says that, it made me cry because right now is a time to fight. Shantae Lowe was the guest speaker. Killed it, really. That good? How good? Really? Really? Okay. Even when it feels like you can't take one more step forward, resilience is a choice. It's a muscle that you develop each and every day, and you have a solid support system here that is supporting you. That's my time. Thank you for joining me on this international. Hey, Shantae, you may want to come back and, and see this, and you may want to uh, keep this going a little bit longer. Thank you very much.
Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Wow.